you haven't already subscribed make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos hey youtube what's up punchy here going to do a review of the spigen pixel 2 10 fit case let's have a look at the packaging first it's not your normal ziploc pouch but you have a cardboard box from spigen here and make sure you recycle it and on the back it says that you have to buy it from spigen only if you buy it from a third party seller on amazon or ebay you won't get warranty from spigen nice touch from spigen over here the triad tab you just pull it and the box opens up and then inside you have the case inside another plastic bag and spigen if you're listening make sure that this plastic bag is recyclable as well because i don't see the recyclable mark in here let's have a look at the case itself so on the inside you have this placeholder where you can apply a metal place for the magnetic air vent mount. So you have those mounts for the phones which attach to the air vent of the air conditioning in your car. So those come with metallic plates. So you can put that metal plate over here and this case would still work with that. Nice touch from Spigen again. Never seen this on any of the other cases I've reviewed so far. On the back you have Spigen branding. Let's go ahead and snap the case onto our phone. So, snaps right in place. I mean, you don't have any cutouts at the bottom because this is a slim fit case. So, everything lines up good over here. On this side, again, the, the power button and the volume rockers are not covered. So, don't have to worry about that as well, about like the feedback or them being clicky or not. On the top as well, you can see you don't have any anything to worry about the cutouts or anything. And same goes for this side. Let's have a look at the back. The cutout for the fingerprint sensor lines up perfectly. The cutout for the camera, the flash and the laser autofocus also line up perfectly. Let's go ahead and do the squeeze test to see how it works. So yeah, as you can see, I didn't like apply too much force and the squeeze test passed with flying colors moving over to the back side let's see if this is a fingerprint magnet or not so they i don't see any fingerprints so you don't have to worry about cleaning the case every now and then let's try to have a look at the lip action but there is no lip action on this guy because this is supposed to be a slim fit case so if you're expecting some lip protection on the front from a slim fit case then this is not the case for you so what's the bottom line with this case well, I got this case for $12 from Amazon, but personally, I feel it's a bit overpriced. It should be around the $9 or the $10 mark because it's a, just a slim fit case. You're not getting any extra protection or anything, but I guess it's the brand name which sells. So if you can grab this case for, you know, like 9 or 10 bucks, that's a pretty good deal considering the brand name. But at $12, I think it's overpriced because... If you have to protect your screen, you definitely need a screen protector and you cannot put your phone on the surface like this, right? You'll end up scratching it. That's it for this review, YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment down below. See you when I see you.